How do I tell my partner our relationship is over? Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. That's the topic we're going to discuss today, and it's not an easy one. And there's no really, you know, amazing answer out there that's going to fit everybody 100%. You loved this person once, they were a big part of your life. And maybe now things have changed, you've grown in opposite directions, you've evolved at different different stages in your life. Whatever the situation is, the best thing you can do is be as kind and loving as you can. It's not easy ending a relationship ever. And it's even worse if the person that is, is being let go of doesn't have proper closure. So many people are being ghosted in relationships now. They're it's over and they're just left to sit here and try and pick up the pieces as to what happened. That's not fair. Don't, don't treat your partner that way. Tell them why you feel the way you do, but do it as gently as you can. A lot of times people think that they're blindsided, that this relationship just ended out of the blue. And that's the partner's fault for not letting them know things were on the, on the road to a change here. Quite often our partners don't really pay attention to set the subtle hints that we're trying to show. And we're not happy, they're not paying attention, they weren't listening, and so it's become a repetitive, sort of negative environment, and that's one of the reasons that people want to end the relationship. It's super important to listen to your partner as much as you possibly can, and really take into what they're saying. This will alleviate a lot of the, the breakup problems later on and trying to figure out what happened. What, why did this change? What happened between us? Sit them down in a place where they can have some dignity. If you're going to break up with them in the middle of a fancy restaurant, that's not really fair on them. They should be allowed to express their feelings and how they want to deal with it. Don't be a chicken or a coward and, and sit and try and protect yourself so that they don't throw something at you or get really upset. They have every right to be hurt and it's good for them for their closure to be able to express themselves. Don't just end it with all the things you don't like. Tell them how great it was for the time that you were together. Share some of those moments with them. Tell them that they're a good person and that there was just something that didn't work. Give them that. The last thing somebody wants to go away from a relationship that they thought was really good and not understand what the hell happened. Don't get all your ducks in a row ready to leave the relationship and they have no idea what's going to happen in the next little while. You've already got your, your apartment or your house, you moved to a new city, you got a new job, all these things. Don't set it all up before you tell them because that's so hurtful. It makes them feel like they're sitting there living in a lie for the last year or two years or whatever. So don't leave them destitute, that they don't have a place to live, they don't have money to pay for rent by themselves. They have no support system because maybe they've moved to a city to be with you and all their family somewhere else. Make sure that you help them as much as you possibly can to get settled into their new life because that is so difficult when you've got finances and all these other things to worry about on top of your broken heart. Help them out as best as you can. It's really, really important for, for respecting yourself as well because at the end of the day, do you want to be that person? that just runs away and just says, oh, I'm not happy anymore and leaves your partner sitting there not understanding what they're gonna do now because everything they had was with you as a couple. So make sure that you help them as, as much as you possibly can. This will be one of the hardest things you ever have to do in your life, but think about the person that has to live with you breaking up with them. So if somebody was going to do this to you, how would you want them to handle it? What would you want to know? You'd want to have as much closure as you possibly could because it's going to take a while for you to deal with the, the heartbreak, but at least if you have answers as to why, it's so helpful to be able to move on a lot quicker. It really is. The biggest problem that most people have with breakups is not understanding what happened. They, why did that person check out like, so long ago and not tell me that they weren't happy? The thing is, with any relationship, communication is number one. You have to listen to each other. You have to share things with each other. Don't blindside each other at the, at the, you know, when you decide that you don't want to be with them anymore. Share things with them as the relationship progresses. Don't wait until it's completely blown up to tell somebody that you're not happy anymore. 
So I hope this helps a little bit for everybody. I know every situation's different. I'm just trying to give a little bit of thought here because there's so much going on right now where people are breaking up and relationships are ending. Hang in there and just give it, give it your best. Really make sure this is what you want before you tell somebody that you're ending the relationship. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave your comments so we can help other people. What did you do when you broke up with somebody? Did you, was it a good situation in the end? Was it, were both of you happier without each other and you moved on in better directions? Let's leave some positive comments below. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.